Alright, so where were we with Claire? Last time we left off, I think we were in... The waiting room. Yeah, who am I kidding? We were in the waiting room. It was the last Claire save. I mean, I probably could go back and try to reclaim some of those grenades that I lost because of some crap with the game not letting me use them, but um no, I don't I don't think I will. I think that I shall persevere. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a long game. It's in the shape of a diamond. I think the diamonds are the cyan ones, aren't they? Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Fu. And last time, if you didn't hear my lamentations, we wasted a lot of ammo for the grenade launcher. Three, or two grenades, can you believe it? I can't. I'm, I'm sickened by that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm trying to figure out where we're going. It's been a sec. Give me, a, give me one second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember where we've been, where we need to go, and what we need to do. Uh. I actually have been playing back through Leon's story, believe it or not. So I actually have some sort of an idea of where we need to go. Uh, first idea is there's the library puzzle that I need know we need to do. So why don't we go take care of that? I don't remember if that gives us a gem or a key. Hopefully it would give us a key. Probably not though, that'd be too much to ask for. And then at some point we have to find the Unicorn Medallion. Because I know that's how we get the Spade Key, I believe it is. Did we... No, I don't want to go down the ladder. I was just checking to make sure that it was down. Come on, hurry. Hurry, Claire. There are zombies over here. You're right over here. I don't know why they put them over there. Unless there's something over there, but... Uh, maybe... Maybe there is something waiting over there. Maybe that's why there's three of them just huddled about like that. I know that in Leon's story, there was no reason for them. There would be no reason for them to be over there. Is there a red herb there? There is. Also, I'm going to have to go back and look through some of the older videos to see what files I missed. Because on my second playthrough with Leon, I've been finding that... I missed quite a few files. Well, I missed two files. Uh, there should be a file in one of these. Unless it's not useful for Claire, I don't... Oh, I was gonna say, can Claire actually walk over this? Is she light enough that she's not gonna knock down the floor? But, guess not. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do this puzzle. So Leon can't get the key or whatever's in there. I'm assuming it's still the key. I think it was the key that was in there. Huh. I don't know. Alright. Easiest puzzle in the world. Push this one right. Push the other one right. I think we actually have to push the other one right twice. Uh... Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Push this one right. I'd have to look at the thing again. Yeah, we gotta move the this middle one right one more time, I think. Or do we? Or is it move the the other one left? Get out get in there, Claire. I say easiest puzzle in the in the world, then I have to go back and check. Oh no, I moved I moved the one on the right over right. I was not supposed to touch that one. Whoops. I knew it looked wrong, because it's supposed to look completely symmetrical afterwards. There we go. That's new. What are you? Will you take the Serpent Stone? I, I guess I will. I have no idea what I'm going to do with a Serpent Stone. Never heard of one of those. <laughs> but I'll take it. Alright, anything back here? I never checked with Chris. Actually, I've never ch I never checked these bookcases at all. 
But I guess there's no books to be had. And did I get a file from here? How many data files on Umbrella Inc? Nothing. Nothing. Profiling investigation. That's very interesting, but not what I'm here for. I'm just gonna check. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna assume there's nothing else in any of those bookcases. Let's grab this red herb. And we'll drop off some stuff. And then I think we should be able to go to... Oh no, the star's room is right around here. Because like I said, I've been playing through Leon's story again. Oh wait. No. I couldn't remember if we unlocked that or not. Like I said, I've been playing through Leon's story again. And the thing with that is that... He found the unicorn medallion underneath Chris's diary. I don't think it was there when I checked around the office. Ah, Chris is gone anyway. Or, Leon's gone anyway, so... Yeah, it's not there. So, we gotta find the unicorn medallion. Somehow. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the other thing we do have to do is find Sherry, but I want to drop off st some stuff in the uh, drop box first. Oh, wait a minute. If we're following a linear path to find Sherry... Oh, I don't want to fight... I don't want to be in the same hallway as Tall, Gray, and Ugly again. Ugh. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want to deal with him. <laughs> That's all. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I say hello and you say goodbye. I'm not, no. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that crap. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Uh, we can't do anything with the red herb. If only I had kept those green herbs from a, th a huge pile, I could have combined it. Oh well. It's not like it'll make that big of a difference. If anything, we'll have to go back and replay some, some, some of the game. Oh no, I'll have to have fun. <laughs> Anyhow, let us... We didn't check the upper, upper floor, either. I wonder if there's anything we can get at this point in the, uh, clock tower. Yeah, I'll have to check as soon as we drop off some stuff. Checking the time, that's all. Don't mind, don't mind that creaking sound as my chair swivels. Shouldn't be making creaking sounds while I swivel anyway. It's not an old chair. <laughs> All right, drop all this off the stuff. Oh, I know I need to find Sherry. Oh, maybe she went upstairs. I never even thought about that. That's completely possible. And that would save me from having to deal with Long, Tall, and... I can't think of something else to put there. I uh, might as well drop off... Oh, do we need the diamond key? Ooh, I don't know if we need the diamond key. I don't know if we need the grenade launcher. I'm gonna leave the grenade launcher. Because, I don't know, I need... I don't know how much I'm gonna have to carry. Maybe Sherry herself is an item. Ah! <laughs> oh, by the way, I should mention that the only reason I know her name is Sherry Birkin is because I did look at the manual, and, well... I saw that her name was Sherry Birkin. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting character bios to be in there. I should have known better. But, it's part of the game. It's not really ruining my blind experience anyway. Alright, so let's go check the clock tower. 
I wonder if he was if uh big grain big grain mean is even in that hallway anymore. I mean if I was him I wouldn't just keep patrolling the halls, patrolling the halls. I'd want to patrol the stairs once in a while, you know? <laughs> see. Nothing. Nothing. Seems to be broken. It won't work. Nada. Zip. Can't even, can't even use that square hole. Because I don't have a, don't have a crank. Darn. I thought I was being smart. Turns out, no. <laughs> So I wonder if the reason we can't actually go upstairs as well is because we don't have to do the plug puzzle. Interesting idea. One that I rather like, because I don't want to have to do the plug puzzle again at all. That implies having to fight a certain boss that I did not like that much. <laughs> All right, let's... I can't see anything behind them. Unless... No, I don't think so. I'm trying to make out what that thing is on the wall. I think it's just a wall decoration. Like what they have on the other walls. Maybe? Maybe? I just don't want to shoot these guys. I've gone, gone through enough ammo already. Uh, what? What? You were like a million miles away. What the heck? Not cool, man. You got, you got your, your zombie brains all over my. Whoa. It's not working. It's not working. Someone told me if you hold run and double tap backwards, you turn around 180 degrees. It's not working. Oh well, I guess I'll have to just take care of him myself. Run by, run by. Yeah. And we'll take out this guy. run past him. Check out what that is on the wall. Is it the... Yes, it is the unicorn metal. Ha! Huh. Someone was like, I bet it'll take you forever to find that unicorn metal. Showed you. Oh, shoot. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I probably should have taken those zombies out, but eh, knowing... Well, knowing what I've done before, I can just run around them from now on. So, whatever. They can <laughs> lollygag around as much as I care. Alright, let's get the... Sp is it the spade key? I think it's the spade key. Oh, not close enough. There we go. And <laughs> I still love that. It's just like, yeah, rock forward, pop. Yes, I'll take the precinct key. Okay, so this one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Whoops, wrong button. I was thinking it was select to go into the. map. Ooh, actually, I know where we can go now. Because there is the Hall of Records. This way. I don't think there are zombies in this hallway. I'm pretty sure there aren't. Nothing in there. Okay, I couldn't, couldn't be sure if I had checked that or not. Let's 
find out, shall we? Aha! Yes, there are. Uh, I'm gonna get out the crossbow because I don't think it's a good idea to have to fight him toe to toe like that. Without it. <laughs> I know, I know. Waste of a crossbow bolt, but how else am I gonna take care of him at this close of a range? That's the only way I can think of it. Well, he's down for the count. Let's get out the pistol again, because we don't—we want to conserve that ammo as much as we can, because that'll probably be perfect for fighting liquors. Three, four, and for some reason I'm not able to shoot you while you're getting up. That's fine. I think you're bleeding out. I can't real. Oh, hello. Oh, get off, get off. Thought you were farther away than that. Yeah, whatever. Oh, let's just... Yep, discard it. That's that's fine. Let's just get in there before... <laughs> things get any worse. Alright, was just checking to see if that was actually... um Someone moving around. Patrol report. We received a report of uh, the suspicious individual... Small amount. Okay. Recovered the following items. C4 plastic explosive. Electronic detonator. 9 by 19 parabellum rounds. And infrared scope broken. Where did you put them? Does not say. No. They're just files. Okay. So the C4 is hopefully somewhere in this room. <laughs> Oh boy. I know there's an ink ribbon here. Isn't there? Yes. Gonna leave it for now. Just cause I don't know how much room I need. Cause we also need to get the crank. From here. Visual materials. There is one more file in here, I think. One that I missed with Leon. All right. Well, let's get the crank. Unless it is just the C4 that we're getting in here. And for some reason the crank has been replaced by the C4. And no. A, a lighter. Uh, okay, I w was not expecting that, but okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Trying to think, where would we find C4? I don't think there's an evidence room. I'm assuming this is an evidence room. Various cases, various cases. Nothing appears to be useful. Copy machine. Hmm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? You know what? Well, I'm gonna have to get this out and use another round, unfortunately, because there's gonna be a zombie right outside the door. But you know what? Uh, we can use the lighter in the briefing room now. Alright, take care of that guy. Just gonna unload a couple of things. Once we make it to the briefing room... Uh, I think there was the gem behind the painting, wasn't there? Hmm. Well, we'll find out next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Xfu. See you guys later. Take it easy.